Okay, Billy and Christopher, this is Eric. I'm right now showing my handwritten drawings. I'm going to transfer this into in Photoshop into a nice neat drawing on the blueprints. Okay, so we can create a finished product for this. This is a house on Rodeo Road that you guys are buying. We've agreed to 725 and I'm going to do a walkthrough right now of a lot of the changes. Notice the front yard on this. Those are large kind of triangular, I call them trapezoidal uh, blocks of cement that'll create, as you can see here from this driveway, we'll create a circular driveway going around the front. That's gonna leave this palm tree in front in a flower bed area right front here. Jacob will figure out some uh, uh, bigger rocks, some colorful rocks, some plants and stuff like that. That'll create a big flower bed, kind of a half circle flower bed right here in front of the house. Plus, if you'll notice, it's rock on both sides of the front walkway. So where that plywood is right now leading in, that's gonna be a cement area. And this is gonna be colored rock as we go around the house over here and on the other side. And by the way, on the side of the house that's on Cathedral Canyon, on that side, on the other side of that far uh, cinder block wall over there, that's also gonna be a nice colored rock with some miscellaneous plants in it. So you have a finished look all the way around the house. Okay, let's go inside and we'll take a look at this. Now, as we go in through the front door, I'm gonna to try to detail as much as I can from my notes here. We need a threshold on the door, we need some door handles on the door. He needs weather stripping around the door. Those things are not in place yet and they will be. On uh, the front entryway, this is gonna be nice, clean, new cement going out to the, uh, the circular driveway. It'll be there and there's gonna be like four to six inch gaps in between the trapezoidal things that'll have imitation grass in them. So they'll have a little bit of a splash of imitation grass out here and then a lot of rock. As we go inside, a couple, oh, by the way, those are the door handles that'll be going on the front door soon. We're really farther along than I thought as Jacob and I walk this. We need some wall, electrical wall plate covers throughout the house. They're all gonna be bright white on that there. If there's touch up needed on the paint, of course he's going to do that. He wants me, he keeps mentioning that we've got the gallery lights. So you've got three of them over there. They're angled to project onto the wall. And then you've got some over here that'll be projecting onto the red wall. There are three on up here that'll project on the white wall. This room has really, three really good walls for three really good pieces of artwork. Now I'm going to walk through the house starting from over here on the left. Okay, so this is the master bedroom. One thing that's worth noting. There will not be any floorboards in the house. He does a very neat, clean edge all the way down to the ground. Also, you're gonna need to buy your window coverings. He's not including window coverings in this. He is including all the ceiling fans that are already in place in the house. And there's like three or four of them. We'll note them as we go through the rooms. And then th this room is pretty close to done. We do need a doorknob on it. And everywhere that there is a pocket door. I have a hard time pulling these out with just my fingers, but it's supposed to have like a little latch here that you could door pocket door handle. Also your closets will have um, uh, shelves in them and clothing poles in it. Um, he talks about Ikea, so that's a style that I know he likes. Whether it'll actually be bought from Ikea or not, that's to be seen. In the bathroom, this is a type of mirror that will be in all your bathrooms. Right now it's the only one up but it's got this little power button right there that turns off and on the light. Okay, on the mirror. Now, I'm not sure if these lights in here are hooked up yet. Oh, you also have recessed lighting, okay, that's in here. This bathroom needs new tile put into it. Um, we decided we didn't like that tile, but it will be new tile put into it. And there needs to be a glass door here. It does have a shower head. There's not enough room to go with just a glass panel. I mean, he would work with you on that if you want to, but it's going to make it a little narrow on this side over here for getting in and out. And because of the slope on the back, we really recommend uh, a double glass door that pulls shut. Okay, for the shower. And uh, we'll get that finished off. Um, it also needs the faucets and the shower heads and stuff like that uh, installed. Still some work to do on that bathroom. When we go back over here, you can see again light fixtures. I'll cover the kitchen in one second. This room is the uh, the game room, is what he calls it. So we still got a little bit of electrical to fix up in here. We definitely need electrical, uh, I call them panels, but covers. 
okay, on everything. That all needs to have happen. The ceiling fan is already installed. But then this room is pretty much done. This is just a game room, kind of a bonus room for you to figure out, you know, what to do with yourselves. The kitchen's got a little bit to go. I need to read off a list here. Okay. The kitchen needs um, kitchen countertops. Okay, so it's going to have a countertop going all through the kitchen, including what's called a waterfall that goes down this side here, okay, of the um, kind of breakfast counter area. Okay, we are going to go with stainless steel appliances through here, and there's going to be a backsplash throughout everywhere. So everywhere that my finger is following right now, that's going to be your backsplash. Okay, that'll be installed all around the whole thing, which is going to be very cool with that dark countertop that he showed you. I know he said black, but I found it more colorful than just calling it black. Um, appliances are going to be a fridge that's going to be there, and that's going to be a counter depth fridge. If it was a full one, it would stick out an extra foot or something here and create something you have to go around. So he wants a counter depth one. This is approximately two feet deep on the counters, but that's a little shallower fridge than, than some. Um, where's my kitchen? Let's go here. Uh, there will be a hood fan up over the top with a stove there and it'll be one of those stylish stainless steel hood fans it will not have a microwave in it so the a microwave right now is not being supplied but it will be a stainless steel stove and oven and hood fan and uh, a refrigerator and then over there in that hole that's where the uh, dishwasher will go okay it'll have a stainless steel sink with a faucet that you know has one of those where you pull on it you spray around and stuff like that on it and uh electrical plates in here faucet control knobs um recessed lighting will be finished off in here we've got the holes in for all of it but it needs to have the lighting put back in electrical plates cupboard doors of course on everything um stainless steel kitchen and sink and faucet appliances i think we covered the kitchen let's go on to the uh laundry room the laundry room will have matching countertop in here, as in the kitchen. The cupboard doors will all be matching, including this here, which is kind of like a pantry linen area. On that there, that'll all be matching the kitchen also. The electric panel will have, or I guess this is a sub panel, will have the door attached to it. All the uh, uh, light switches and plugs and everything will have the proper plates on them. That there will have a doorknob on the uh, laundry door there. And uh, he often goes with like a nickel plate, but I'm, I'm not sure. I don't want to promise that. Um, here we are in the hallway bathroom. We need some knobs on that shower area there. We need a shower head attached to that wall. We need a toilet in here. And these are all things that we are getting for you. Um, there will be a glass enclosure for the shower and a pan there on the bottom. The uh, actual tile, those little like smaller, it's almost like backsplash type stuff, but it's like pebbles also um, that's in the master bedroom i'll show you here will be the ground granite countertop it will probably be a unique countertop probably not what's in the kitchen we will have faucets on wall mounted there and the controls on that valve that's next to the wall mounted faucet there will be a, um, a, a medicine cabinet right there in that hole in the wall right now we are still waiting for the uh the plugs to get the plate covers on them and there will be a mirror right here similar to what's in that master bathroom so it will be a large one somewhere probably close to five foot uh, length on it this is a little over five feet in length almost six on it so it'll probably be a five foot ish mirror there so it leaves a little bit of wall on each side but is spread landscape style it'll have plenty of room for uh, two people to stand side by side we have lights already in the ceiling here oh, I'm hitting the wrong switch ah there we go recessed lights already in the ceiling those are working doorknob okay and there was a pocket door back there I didn't talk about but also needs a latch this will have a door on it kind of a more uh, traditional style door um, for the furnace and that will be a, a cupboard door um, I did not ask him the style on it but probably matching the kitchen I can't promise that. Jake will have to tell you that. I'm at almost 10, 10 minutes. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to cancel this one here and start another one again. Catch you on the next video.